Hey guys, happy Friday and welcome to the Bates House. I haven't seen you guys in a while and I actually have so much content on my phone, it's not even funny. I just did not feel compelled to upload it because I don't know, everything's weird, everything's strange right now, so I kind of felt like it just didn't really serve much of a purpose to upload it. I am going out to the workshop today because I'm going to make something for the hubby. He's been wanting to experiment with plants and stuff and I feel like he always comes to me with something different that he's made for me or put together for me or got for me to always make my experiments go better and I want to do that for him today. Plus, for some reason, the phrase if it's creative, it's from God, and if it's not, then it's not, which is interesting because I have a lot of things kind of like, there's a lot of energies out right now, and people are kind of having to get over having so much time to be home, to choose to do nothing, or choose. Okay, so that was the hubby he called. <laughs> anyway, I got my yogurt all put together, yummy. Um, so what I was saying was people can either choose to be home to do nothing or have to get over that weird awkward feeling that they get when they see so many other people doing something because that's kind of coming from a place of ego instead of allowing yourself to be inspired you kind of want to be angry at those people which is kind of pointless to me it's kind of childish and it serves really no positive purpose in your own life or anyone else's life if that's what you choose to do. So that being said, I've been on social media for a very long time. I've gotten my share of the crap and trolls and all that. Nobody really cares. <laughs> it gets frustrating because it frustrates everybody else when there's no need for it. You know what I mean? Because like, why watch someone that you're angry at? That just kind of stupid. That being said, I am going out because I feel like Jesus told me to go do something nice for my husband. So that's what I'm gonna do today. In my yogurt, in our Bates Family Farms homemade scratch yogurt, I love this stuff. So I was never a yogurt person from the store. Like I would buy like 40 yogurts for the kiddos. I never really ate any and when I did, it was like, mm, meh. And that was no matter what kind of yogurt, right? I didn't like Greek yogurt, I didn't like Yoplait, I didn't like store brands, I didn't like yogurt there's just something about the flavor of store yogurt now with this yogurt oh and gosh I can eat it like it's a huge bowl of cereal or something and I love chunk so I like the filler I like the filling I like to fill my yogurt and my ice cream up with stuff I like the stuff but in this with this yogurt I like yogurt so what I add to my yogurt is agave honey chia seeds raisin bran cereal clusters with the like the oats and clusters in it raisins dried dates banana strawberry if I have it but I don't right now because I can't go to the store um, all kinds of chunky yummy stuff so this is what it looks like it's just so amazing I don't know if I said chia seeds flax seed whatever so I'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna go out to the pool room and try to piece together something for the hubby really quick before I leave you guys two things one if you can hear all the chirpies we have, I think, 20 baby chicks that are about to be put outside in the big coop. So we're excited about that. And two, while I eat this, I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys what we've been working on, which is the hashtag Bates Family Garden. We are so excited about it. We've been in five days now since the build, and it is just amazing. This would be day number six. I haven't gone out there this morning. I will be going out there in a bit as I make my round to the garden, the chicken, and then into the pool room or the base family workshop and I will leave you guys with some footage of that while I enjoy my oatmeal.
a quick, clear idea of why we're putting it here. But explain to them which one it is. So our septic from the front of the house, which is the kitchen and laundry, washes out here. It goes through the house, cycles through the earth, and it washes out here. And this is actually where we used to have the trench to go out to the road. Otherwise, we would have pond. a pond back here. So it goes all the way out to the road. It's gonna block it off here. So no more flow this way. And dig a trench here. It's all the way through that goes to that one. And here that goes into that one. And then we're gonna have kind of like a drains French for drain, our garden. Yeah. Self-watering system for the garden which is why we decided to put it out here in this back corner. And then these are going to be posts for the fencing since we're gonna do a cattle wire, cattle wire fence because we gotta around. keep all the chickens and stuff out. We're gonna leave the height because we don't know what we're gonna have to do in the future. We do have a lot of hawks and birds and stuff out here. This is what it's looking like. Looking so beautiful.
and all those oranges that rot in there. Yep. Okay, so I think it came out very cute. So let me show you what it looks like. Check this out. So my battery's kind of low. I'm just gonna give you a quick run through of what I did and what I used. Basically, it's all scrap. When we built the cover for the four wheelers, the hubby had to trim down the fence along the side of the house, or excuse me, the side of the shop, his shop. And uh, he kept these pieces for me and they'd been sitting in my workshop for about, I don't know, two months, two and a half-ish months. I had been holding on to them because I wanted to use them for something. They were a great size, you know, free material, all that jazz. So I just pieced them together with some siding on the inside, got a scrap piece of wood, put it down on the bottom, drilled a ton of holes in it. This is actually gonna be to store his gallons for growing the trees and different blend of plants that he wants to experiment with and I think it came out adorable. So I just used screws that I had on hand, handles that I had on hand, did a light spray over them to make them look like they had already been worn and kind of aged. And then this thing I had from a Hobby Lobby clearance, from Fall Clearance. It was about $3 for the thing that had the wood. It said, Welcome Fall. I never really liked that bottom part, but he loved the barn with the windmill because that is totally his thing. So I put it on here and he loves it. So. We have this, we're gonna put it out in the garden space with the rest of the large garden. He didn't want to be putting these pieces in the garden beds because we weren't quite sure how they're gonna work. So he wanted a space that he could have something in off to the side, so I made him this. And he liked it, and I love it. So yeah, there's that, very cute. It fits the gallons just fine. And then it's just a really great way to repurpose these gallons instead of throwing them straight into the trash or recycling them. So yeah, there is that. All right, so I haven't really done slow or real time updates on the garden because we've been super busy with it. We've done a few experimental things and we're really excited about what we're seeing. I got, I feel like one, one is having some trouble, but aside from that, everything else seems to be very fruitful and strong so here's a look at this side it's a u-shape it's a u-shape and we got veggies and fruit and herbs and I've planted certain things to shade other things we've kind of worked with what we have in the tight space that we have and I'm liking what I'm seeing I have some stuff peeking through there are some pieces or some things that were put in from seed 
and some I let sprout in pouches for a few days so there's a little bit of trial and error here and I've taken it all down and just made note of everything we're doing so we are very excited about what's going on here check it out we got bell peppers coming or Marconi peppers sprouting over there we have a tomato on the vine we have some Italian oregano puffing up the cucumbers are coming back over there those were cucumbers from last year I put some topsoil but there's some like sprouts underneath that and it's just been really exciting so much good stuff going on here in the garden now eventually our goal believe it or not as crazy as it sounds and I know people always think that I'm crazy when I say it but our goal is to learn from our mistakes and eventually be able to create a community garden in the green space that's popping up left and right by our property I kind of feel like God's clearing out you know a path for us to be able to do something like that and be able to afford it at the same time so I want a community garden where the community contributes to the garden and we all eat not for free necessarily because it's gonna take you know some investment from everyone you put in and you get to take out and it's a pretty simple concept and it's a real tight-knit community over here there's only a population of like under a thousand people so I believe it's totally possible that being said this is what's going on at the Bates house so exciting we got a door on here we still have a lot of work to do as far as the frame like we have to you know actually frame it off and make it look nice and clean and get everything to coordinate but that's you know in the future that costs money and right now we're trying to focus on the more important stuff so here's what we're doing and this one is the one I just built for the hubby so he can put his gallons in there and he's happy about that kind of looks like a little trough I love it it's like man I should have made myself one for in the house as decor but that's that and we are gonna go ahead and go over there with the hubby and get the chicks into the coop. He's looking in there. He wants to get in there. Oh, there's our party's new home. They're big enough, they got feathers now, they can come out into the world and check it all out. I put our one chicken in there that likes to be mom. So they got their own little house. That's just his way of checking on them. Hey, poker. Now you need to wash here. <laughs> Look at them. sad little trees over there. <laughs> I bet you they're big now. Yeah, but she's like how many years later? Big according to Oh yeah, compared to what we got here. Fuck <laughs> they're like shrimps. I got branches on these trees that are bigger than the tree trunk probably over there.
should probably fill up that sprayer and put that bug stuff in it and spray at the base of all these trees. It'll keep them all out, all that crap. You know we don't look at it much, but that tree right there is beautiful. If you ever stood out there and looked at that tree, mm -hmm. that tree is like the perfect tree. If you step back, it's got like all the limbs in the right places that grew up. Nice, tall, and strong. It's a, it's a, that is a nice tree. Look how thick it is up at the top. That tree's been there, I'd say, one of the longest. He's coming for his food. He knows I feed him around now. Okay guys, so that's all I got for you today. Just a little short something something. Made a little something for the hubby. We have the baby chicks in the coop now. We're gonna see how that goes with Maleficent, see if she doesn't mind being in there with them. We have the other ones out eating and roaming right now. The garden is has been touched up for the day. I'd say it was a productive day. So that being said, I do hope that you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below, let me know what you're working on in your house with all of this free time that we've all been gifted. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Subscribe for new videos. And if you want, you can get a lot more real time, up to date stuff that we're doing on my social medias, on Instagram and my Facebook group. But for now guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Babies, I miss you inside already. I already miss you inside. I do. Yeah, I do.